So, it's Kai Kage. Well, because it's my channel, so I hope it's me. <laughs> so I just finished watching the finale of Demon Slayer, and the demon this season were just a little weak. Actually, for a better word, they were just useless. Like, I'm not even gonna get on Gyoko because I'm like way more disappointed with Zaho Kute. He's the biggest letdown this entire season. When he put up, there was so much suspense. But before I get into the Hey yo, what the fuck? Bro, let's get straight to it. Oh my mama, we lit! Yeah! First, let's look at his drip. Like, he's dripping on him right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a drip on his body. Like, I just have to point that out. But for real, he fused with the demons Tanjiro and Gang almost died against. They was fighting for their life. Bro, look at Tanjiro right now. He is struggle luggling. And like I was saying before, when he pulled up, he actually put fear in the viewer. Like, he was scary. Look how he pulled up on Tanjiro. Oh my right behind God. that guy. Look at Tanjiro's face. He is petrified. When he pulled up on this scene, look at Genya. He's also petrified. He doesn't even want to see what that guy could do. Oh he already God. knows what he could do. He's going to pack him up. Simple. He's clearly not playing games with these guys. So, as he's standing there elegantly, the viewer's thinking, bro, how are these guys going to win? Like, these guys are about to get clapped. The setup, the suspense, everything that was going on was perfect. He was doing what Gyoko did not do. Gyoko just looks like a goof. Like, we can't take him seriously as someone actually scary. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> and all he did was run. There's nothing terrifying about him. There was no suspense. There's just nothing. It was lackluster. He didn't feel like an actual demon. Like Utara was more scary than this guy. So you would think. If he's a fusion of these demons, they, these guys would not stand a chance, right? Yeah, I know he ended up clapping Chandra on them, but then Mitsuri pulled up, gets one flashback, and starts getting to it. Like, bro, like, I know she died at, like, she would have died at the end, but she didn't, so it don't matter. Because the two stooches and the bipolar height girl ran the homie down and wasn't full of play with him. But you know what doesn't even make sense? Why the hell didn't he just stand beside the big homie? Why was he hiding where he could be killed at any second? It doesn't make sense. You wanna know something crazy? Zoha Kuten didn't even move the entire fight. He just posted up like Hisoka when he fought Gone in the Heavens Arena. The only difference is Hisoka actually won. So one, he didn't move. Two, the homie didn't post up with the big homie. And three, oh he didn't God. even use all his powers. He legit used his electricity powers twice. Like, oh twice max. God. And the best time he could've used it was when Tanjiro and Gang went to go run little homie down. But nah, he just sent dragons, but so he boxed them away. And instead of saying to himself, if I use lightning, she won't be able to counter it. And they're not fast enough to dodge. But nah, he just said, I'm just give up. Like, who wrote this? Why is his IQ so low he's based off a of god and he's this dumb this is disgraceful this man wasn't trying the whole match but at least he was almost able to kill ahashira a marked one if he would have moved his feet and just used lightning then he would have caught a body i don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna end it here but there will be an entire critique on the whole season soon i think if i choose to make it but anyways yeah peace Trapping at the house with the boys on the